Hey everyone, in this video, we will explain why you should still contribute to your 401k, even if the stock market is down this year. Stay tuned. Hey there, it's Alex and Matt from One Degree Advisors. If you're new here, we are certified financial planners that help folks with all things investment, tax, and retirement related. Matt, we've all taken a look at our 401k balances, especially as we head into the midpoint of the year. And if you're a younger professional, typically you're gonna be invested a little bit more aggressively because you have that longer time horizon. So you've most likely seen larger losses in your 401k. So I think it's a fair question to ask, should I still contribute to my 401k if I think it's going to continue to fall in value? If you're a little bit stressed looking at your 401k balance right now or a little bit anxious, that's completely understandable, right? We're living through a time of high inflation, pandemic, war. I mean, did I leave anything out? Maybe supply chain issues. Oh, yeah, supply chain <laughs> issues. Can't forget about those. Uh, so, you know, why would you want to contribute to a losing 401k is an understandable question. But I offer this, right? Let's let history be our guide because it can teach a lot about investing. So this is a great chart here by DFA showing the growth of $100 from 1926 to, 19, to 2021, sorry. And with the shaded areas being recessions, right? So especially during war, economic downturns and high inflationary periods, it could teach us a ton about investing. So I'll link the uh, interactive chart in the comments below. Yeah, staying consistently invested has worked extremely well historically. Exactly. So if you're already contributing to your 401k, not only should you stay invested, you should also continue to contribute and get more shares at a lower price. Yeah. And, and speaking of that point, that's, you know, we made a video last week called Why Young Investors Should Love Bear Markets, which we'll link above there. People can watch that. Of course, past performance is no guarantee of the future. We use history as our reference and kind of like our, our guidepost to say, what should we be doing next? What should we be looking at? But let's talk about the second very practical reason to make sure you're continuing to contribute to your 401k which is you don't want to lose your employer match. Yeah, first of all, if you have a 401k, congratulations. That's really going to be the cornerstone to building wealth, and that is for a lot of Americans. So it's really an easy way to automate your investments each month out of your paycheck. And it could be even better and compounded if you're getting a employer match, which is basically free money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's take a look at this here. So a recent Vanguard study showed that the average 401k match in 2020 was about 4.5% 4 of someone's salary. You know, that's a good incentive to keep contributing to 401k because that's thousands of dollars in free money over time. So here's the thing. I mean, when we look at all this data, we look at the charts, I think for some folks, they're going to be in the camp of, okay, I just needed the words of affirmation. I need to see the data that, yes, I really should continue to contribute to my 401k. You're going to have the other camp of people that go, well, I already stopped contributing, right? I, I, I stopped those automatic contributions. Mm -hmm. Well, now what do I do going forward? Like, when do I start? I don't want to mistime this thing, right? I don't want to start putting money in and then my my next statement comes out and, oh great, I've already lost more money again. So what, what should folks do in that situation? Well, here's the thing, right? Trying to time the market is nearly impossible. And if I had a crystal ball, Alex, I'd tell you the exact date and time to start buying, but we don't. So, you know, I offer this, let's take a look at another chart by DFA that shows the impact that can be if you're even out for out of the market for one short period of time it shows that missing those best weeks and months of returns can have a pretty significant impact on returns so unless you know exactly when the bottom is it's really a fool's errand to try to time the market well and that's the thing too is that everyone wants to look for that green light which there isn't going to be. The news, you know, you're going to flip on the news and they're going to say, hey, look, everything's rosy. Everything looks great. Go ahead and mm -hmm. start contributing again. That signal will not come out. So that's really why having a disciplined investment approach, a financial plan, maybe an accountability partner like a financial advisor can be so critical to make sure you stick with your plan for long-term success. And now let us know what you think. Are you nervous about your 401k being down in value? Drop a comment below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more. It helps us reach more people to provide free educational content to the masses. Thanks for watching.